Hey all welcome back to SSX3. I'm in Cedic. with me on this video again is Blink Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? And Turo. Hello. We're on peak one. We're passing the exit of Snow Jam. That's because we're going to the bottom of the mountain. We'll be looking at the second race event, Metro City, here. Um, so when we come out the other side, it'll be nighttime. It's not a true day-night cycle. There's programmed, uh, you know, times of day for each part of the mountain. Welcome back to Radio Big. And this is going out to anyone presently driving the high Alpine highway today. Seems Big T's van has gone and broken down again. Can someone pick him up before nightfall this time? Time now for a mountain update. Seems management's yanking lift passes as reports drift in of competitors and free riders alike venturing into peak one's out of bounds area. If you're ducking ropes, watch your back. Just kind of cool little, you know, uh, what do they call it? Adding to the world building scene or whatever. I mean, it's scene setting. It's scene, scene dressing setting, or whatever. Yeah, that's another really cool part of this. There's something for SSX fans tonight. Race action can be found happening on Peak One's Metro City Breakdown. The course makes its way through the streets, over buildings, and yes, even through a subway shortcut. Be sure to check it out. Make sure you stay with Radio Big for all your news. Dang, look at that. Wow, that's yeah. a really pretty view. Riding up on the starting line. Look at that fucking drop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is how they're going to really set apart all of the courses. Every part of the full mountain has really its own sort of time of day or its own feel where all the colors correspond to that. And so like this isn't just the city race level. This is the nighttime racing level. And kind of the, you know, combination of those, everything they do, that really cements uh, these tracks apart. Now, I have a question. Oh, man, this, looks, this track looks bonkers. Um, uh, Springer. What I was going to say was, uh, who's the uh, voice actor who plays the, the DJ or whoever? Oh, I, I don't know off the uh, top of my head. I don't know, yeah. But he's on Twitter. I know that. He responds to people on Twitter, but I don't the other, remember his name. The other guys, like in the previous games, those were actual DJs, right? Right. Ross, yeah, so this guy's a voice actor. Yeah, this guy's a voice actor. But I will say, he sounds really smooth. He does very much give me the ambiance of, like, a, you know, it's late at night, you're kind of all by yourself and you're hearing this on the radio kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. It's giving you or a little, in, the, little in the context late... of this game, you're doing some late night writing down yeah, in the backcountry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's really, again, the audio is really set up to have it almost like it's a radio station or something. Yeah, exactly. Again, the, yeah, the DJ is filling that role more than, uh, you know, calling out every trick you do and saying inspirational quotes, which I do miss Rozelle, but yeah. now as an adult, I really more understand kind of what the what they were going with with the switch here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, along with that, like sometimes when songs start, uh, someone from the band might, it almost sounds like a radio promo, you know? Hey, this is MXPX and you're listening to EA Radio, radio Big. Big. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. John MXPX. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't But yeah, no, that's, that, that, that makes a lot of sense aesthetically and it actually means, I mean, if, if the music that you're listening to is coming from a real radio, then yeah, that? that makes the music diegetic, which is a neat little, uh, you know, that's a little, yeah. uh, a nice little uh, thing. Everything, you, I mean, obviously the UI you're seeing in game isn't, isn't diegetic, right? It's not part of the yeah. game world, right? But a lot of what you're seeing and hearing is, and that's cool. Yeah, you've got your MCOM device, and that is mm -hmm. where you're supposed to get your information or hear the radio station or you know basically use as an all-in-one kind of thing yeah your I mean, it's basically can't, a cell can't phone. check your messages for you yeah <laughs> you know even now i still don't check the messages on the upcom uh, <laughs> i mean it's basically just like hey mac is saying he's peak one's boss go beat him uh, it's like i was going to anyway i think for a l really small kids though they might see that as like a a personal challenge you know yeah yeah. Mac was saying that? That motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, some 
<laughs> really small kid thinking that. Yeah, some little kid being like, you little shithead. Yeah. Fucks up. You, you don't really get as much interaction between the different riders as you did in one or tricky. You know, if you knock someone down, they're not going to stare you down on the ending podium and trash talk you. So I guess having that there, like, like the characters messaging you sometimes to say, like, hey, you know, uh, you can go to peak two. Uh, can't wait to see you there. It's, yeah. again, a nice little thing. All of these just nice little things. This game is super high effort in all of those mm -hmm. little things that make it all work. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, it's just like a lot of really nice little touches built on top of really solid core gameplay. That's, yeah. uh, that's where it's at, dude. Yeah. Which is also really impressive, because they changed, like, a, like it's an entirely new engine, almost, that this mm -hmm. game is running on. So the fact that they were able to keep that really solid gameplay is really impressive in and of itself. Yeah. I mean, they, they really knew what they were doing, and they knew what they, like, they knew what they did right before, and they could build on that in the right way. A lot, you know, sometimes... A game developer will make something, and at the end of the day, they don't really get what was so great about it, and so the next game, it just kind of blows, because they changed yeah. all the stuff we like. Like, I mean, yeah. I, don't, I don't really want to be negative about this game, because it is a good game, but, like, yeah. Skate 3, the reason that game has a reputation for being so, like, buggy was because it was, they tried to change a lot in, like, such a short amount of time. That game was pretty rushed. Yeah, so. and I mean, that that's that's maybe more of a technical issue. Yeah. The, That's also sort of what I was getting at. The, yeah. That they changed so much about how this game felt, and it's like still feels and it still like feels really as good. good. Like while being different, it still feels as good, but almost like in many ways better. Like that's to the point where it's personal preference. Yeah. That's. Yeah. I mean, that's that's where you want to be as a series. Yeah. 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 I mean, they got a two-year dev cycle instead of just a one-year. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they had a lot of... They had a good amount of time. I wouldn't say a lot of time. If, they had a good if an yeah. SSX game needed to come out in 2002, I'm sure it would have been a lot more, like, tricky. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I guess... Fine, I'll get it out of the way. This is back when EA didn't destroy franchises, you know, yeah. or whatever. Like, oh, so, yeah, there. Yeah. There. Now, now all the comments. comments you can delete left. your comment that said that. <laughs> yeah. And I'm your sure comments for the next... 12 videos or so that are going to say that. <laughs> no, don't worry. The last video is going to plenty of them, too. Um, yeah. You know, that actually did this game me. with microtransactions. Like, okay. Yeah, if they... Yeah, we know I don't want to remake of this game because they're going to make Allegra $5. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but for some reason, this game is available on, like, Xbox One's game store. They oh, did is it really? Get... Yeah. They did get, like, I guess the licensing or whatever figured out to, yeah, have this re-released at least, like, downloadable. So you can Shit. play this on your, like, modern Xbox console. Do the speedrun categories factor that in at all, or...? Uh, well... I don't know. I mean, the Xbox still has its a crappy control scheme, because the original Xbox yeah. controller, uh, was it's not, the not meta. designed. So, it's... <laughs> yeah, it's not the meta. Although you, people do speedrun this game on the GameCube, so, I mean, cool. Because for, like, Dolphin, you can get, like, 4K texture packs. Uh, yeah. 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 You gotta say, though, don't be trash-talking my GameCube controller. I love that controller. I actually hate the GameCube and the GameCube controller explicitly because of this game in this series. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Shots fired. We can get into that later. Because this is GameCube so GameCube really is part a beautiful console. It had a handle on it. <laughs> yeah, it was the most uh, oh. most friendly for taking over to a friend's house. All right, so uh, yeah. you remember in Mercury City when you got kidnapped by a UFO? Yeah. Well, in Metro City, there are some uh, shortcuts, like teleporter shortcuts. Some in phone booths, and then yeah, another like water tower UFO there. But yeah, there's three kind of secret teleporter shortcuts. Um, and, and they're all, like, pretty fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we are just, you know, launching ahead in this, this final This is the beat. super run. Yeah, and, you know, I will say, if this course only had these three heats to show it off, I would definitely be doing it a disservice here. But due to the nature of this game, we're going to be getting to see Metro City a lot more. 
uh, so I'll have plenty more opportunities to show off all the ridiculous alternate paths and shortcuts crammed into this level. Are you gonna show them the blank tester? Uh, what was the blank tester? I don't remember. Wow, <laughs> that hurts. There's a whole trick, a whole ass trick named after me. It's not even okay. a trick. It's not Shut even up. a shortcut, really. And the name only was applied within like a small group of people, so it doesn't like really matter. You and me and whoever was in my Twitch Somebody chat else, at the time. That's just it. Like you and I didn't name it the blank tester. Someone else named it the blank tester. <laughs> okay. okay. So it's me, you, and Minute them. Minute fifty. I just want to call that out right now. Yeah. That's nuts. That that's is pretty nuts. There were some parts God. where you were going so fast, I was afraid you were going to lose control. She did get it. Hey, Allegra! How about a little race showdown in the backcountry? Oh. Yeah, that is kind of the one pre-setup event. You've beaten the two main race courses here on Peak 1, so Mac, who is kind of the peak rival, unless you pick him, of course, and then it goes to another character. Uh, it's great. Now basically unlocks the backcountry, this happiness track, for you to face off versus him as the next race event. But we've still got more to show. You're back with Radio Big. Checking in with Circuit News, we have Allegra Sauvages cleaning up with winds all over the mountain. As things continue to go from good to astounding for the talented newcomer, Radio Big will be bringing you the latest in Allegra Developments. So there's still more to this video than just showing off Metro City, because I want to go in the lodge and show off, you know, what you could do there. First, there's a whole bunch of gear that you could either unlock for placing in uh, events, or buy at the lodges. Each uh, peak's lodges will have its own kind of set of gear. So there's a lot more customization than there was before. You know, you're oh. not picking just like eight outfits that have all been pre-made. Now we, you choose. You're just what building to your own outfits. That's super cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's like a whole lot of options. God, especially oh, I... beanies. Oh my, oh my gosh, I can't. Like. It says loading, and then it just shows you a picture of each item instead of loading the whole character wearing the item. And I really appreciate that because, like, it you thought it they were take... disembodied. No, I mean, like, it would just oh. take fucking forever on the old on that old hardware to load the new character in every single time. It makes uh, more I sense to just show a picture. Goof. No, not a goof. Just one uh, one thing about this game that's maybe a little Ooh. bit like. Oh, memories kind of thing is that it had some real-life branding from several things that uh, have obviously not, you know, Stuck remained around. around until now. Like DNL. You remember DNL? I think about DNL too frequently. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I uh, just so too much. Obviously, I had to buy the DNL board. And so also in the lodge, this is where you can improve your stat points. It gives you, like, you know, increments of one-fifth which huh. is kind of weird, and I always, so I always feel that way. What I showed is, for me, personally, my recommendation is to put points into spin and tricks first, because, you know, when you have no points in those, and your tricks are kind of slow, and you will crash because you don't release them in time, that's kind of frustrating. If you can trick fast, then you could do well. You can have boosts to get the shortcuts and such. Uh, so that's kind of my personal recommendation, but also, yeah, so you can also change up your uber tricks and put really any uber trick from these blocks on, huh. including like the other characters' signature ubers uh, for that's the cool. nose grab and tail grab. So like, Let's Mac has walking the dog normally, I can put that on Allegra. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the... You know, the first, like, four of those for nose grab and tail grab are generics, and then, yeah. Ten characters, so five of them have nose grab signatures, five of them mm. have tail grab signatures. But you can have yeah. one of each. Yeah, right? One of right. nose grab and tail grab. Right, yeah. right, yeah. That's cool. That's actually the same for for your Uber 1 Uber tricks as well. Like, mm. those Welcome are baked in. You know, you can't change those. 
but you might not realize at first that you have the four main grabs and also nose and tail for uber ones as well. Yeah. And also, speaking of uh, the fact that those are kind of baked in and unchangeable, there is sort of like a really interesting meta to this game when it comes to tricking events that we'll get in. That I'll at least, you probably will talk about yeah. it later too. We'll yeah, there's there. a lot to talk about on this game with the tricking side, but that'll be saved for next video. We'll be heading to the main slope style, well, the main tricking events for peak one, the slope style, big air, and half pipe events. So, yeah, Can't join wait. us then.